Yeah. On a scale of on a scale of, just for this trilogy, not including the Crystal Skull and whatever the hell the des- Dial of Destiny is. Uh huh. Your favorite artifact. Um. Well, the rock is at the bottom. Yeah. Fuck the rock. <laughs> the- <laughs> what did Dwayne do to you? The the uh, stone he, is at the bottom. He made Black Adam. <laughs> That's a fair but, point. Uh, duly noted. But um. But, uh, and, so it's between and, the ark and, and the it's between the ark and the grail. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, story wise, I think the the grail was used better than the ark of the covenant. Um, even though I, the ark of the covenant wasn't bad, but just like I think it was just there to like for the shock factor at the end. Yeah, um, I think I I want to say that there was more of a drive. Like more of like a motivation to get the arc more than the more than the Grail though. I uh, I would uh, say it's kind of the opposite. I I, I feel no I feel I feel like there was more of like a I feel like I felt more of the um what's the word I'm looking for more of the temptation I guess for the arc. Yeah, the arc did have that tempting vibe to it. Again, and again, that's what I'm trying to say. The, like out of nowhere, the Grail just has this tempting vibe to it. For Elsa and I'm just like where was this when like you were picking it out because if that's the case then the temptation would have lured you to the right one and, and that would have made it even better that you to show that you chose you chose wrong on purpose but um anyway like I, I think the grail is my personal favorite just because like mm-hmm. <laughs> unlike the ark and the stones you actually see it used and nothing really bad happens except if you chose poorly I mean, yeah, like you still saw like the the bad snow. Well, what, I mean, you saw the, the consequences of what happens what? when you mess with the arc. I mean, yes, but it's just as far as like, and th- there's there's also that like ten- temptation of like you want to see it open, and so the fact that you know when you do see it open that one time at the end of the film and you see what happens, you know that's that, you know that just goes to show that like you know that's what happens. That's how powerful it actually is. You know, it was only, it was one of those things where it was like, it was only meant to be opened that one time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which once again goes back to like with it, I I think it's a similar thing with um, the Holy Grail because while, yeah, it was, it was used um, in a positive aspect. uh, It's not supposed to leave that area. Right. So it's like, it's more about the journey than the destination. Yeah. I think, I think I like the story and like the, uh, the buildup to the Grail the most. Oh yeah, th- yeah, I'll definitely agree to that. Like the story leading up to the Grail is probably my favorite, but I feel like more of in terms of like temptation and like power wise, and like you know artifact wise, I would probably go with the Ark. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. You know, um, I, I think I think Holy Grail. I think actually, if I were ranking like all four of the artifacts, including the skull, I would go with Stone Grail Skull and Ark. So the skull is your sec is your second favorite then. Yeah. Oh, okay. interesting. But again, I, I like the story behind, you know, leading up to the Grail the most. I feel like that's the more like, you know, digestible uh story to follow. Okay. I got it. Um what did the stone what did the stones do again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so when you Literally put them nothing. together they glow okay and then they melt when you say something hold say on, the hold on, hold on, inscription hold on, hold on. I, i'm literally about to look this up yeah it's like what <laughs> do the stones do i'm sure there's people out there be like what about the stones what about the stones what like they the represent like a village but like that they, they never really get used for anything besides like stones, how dwayne said they, uh, they get used for like you know burning oh. through a bag is considered a fertility symbol. The Saqqara stones contained diamonds which would glow. Wait, can you actually buy them? Hold on. Wait, Disney what? is selling Saqqara stones. You've got to be kidding me. You've They're sold got out. to be kidding me. They're sold what? out. The actual sold. sold out? Those stupid it's... stones sold out? <laughs> Dude, whether you want to believe it or not, Temple is still a cl- It's a part of the trilogy. I understand that, but like, 
What is that, that so begs special the question. about the stones? <laughs> Other than keep it as collector's items, why why do people want them so badly? Hold on, hold it's on, not hold even on, like on. it's not even that like Indy was able to bring it back to the museum anyway to put it up in like a museum. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Lily, I think I could make those stones in arts and crafts. <laughs> hold on a minute, DL. I'm trying to find the damn explanation, but also at the same time, I'm wanting to know, did Disney make a replica arc and a replica grail? Because if they made a replica grail, I kind of want one. Like, you remember stagecraft in high school, Ruby? Like, oh, my I think, God. I think people can make that in stagecraft, can't they? Yeah, probably, DL. yeah. Stop it. <laughs> no, he's not wrong. He's actually not wrong. The real story behind the MacGuffins. That's though, actually though to really be fair, you could also just make the Holy Grail as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so, hold on. Okay, okay. It's okay, just okay. it's just clay. It's the, just clay this, design. This yeah. is from the Indiana Jones wiki. Okay. Uh, the Sakara stones were five smooth, polished stones shaped like legams, round rounded columns used as a symbol of the fertility aspect of Shiva. Um, let's see. The stones contain diamonds inside which would glow when the stones were brought together as a way to recount the legend of Shiva emerging from the fiery pillar. The diamonds could give warmth and life, but the stones could also be used for fiery destruction for those who betrayed Shiva. Um, let's see. Um, is that buried underground? Da, 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 da. Um, <sighs> let's see. Yeah, it, it seems like... <clears throat> It basically just seems like they're this like powerful Indian artifact, um, like I'm, okay. So, um, Sakara used the stones to convert many in India to the worship of Shiva. After his death, however, the stones became lost, scattered by wars, and sold by mercenaries over hundreds of years. By the 30s, two of these Sakara stones sat buried underground beneath the palace of Pankot, while a second pair managed to fall into the possession of. Thuggy high priest's son by the name of Mola Ram. The last of the five had ended up in a small village called Mayapur, located in northern India. It was found in a river and, re and revered by the people of Mayapur because it brought happiness and prosperity to the village. They called it Shivalinga or Shiva, yeah, Shivalinga, and it served as the town's Lingam. It had three notches to the, on the side representing the three levels of the universe according to their beliefs. So basically, the whole reason he the, the town gets him to go bring the stones is, hey, our good luck charm is gone. Please retrieve it from the cultist. That's the whole point. Diao literally had that up, knowing I wasn't looking at the screen. And when I came back, I just see the word trash across <laughs> the fucking screen. So what you're saying is, those stones are trash. They're worth, they, they are important to the Indian religion and the Indian people, but outside of there, no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. And here's the thing. It's There's like a novel and what? a comic. What? What? There is... There's a, there's a Temple of Doom movie, the Temple of Doom novel, the Junior novel, and a Temple of Doom comic. God, these people are obsessed with this piece of shit. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> This makes you sick. Anyway, look. The stones, I, I, I'm going to look up now. Holy grill. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the, the stones, like, look, the stones are, that's that's fine, though, in all seriousness. It's fine if that, that represents that for the for their Indian, you know, village or whatever. That's fine. The problem is. culture. Yes, but the problem is we don't feel the significance of those stones really that much. We don't feel like the significance of it. They're telling us that it's important, but we don't actually see what they Let's can see. actually do. So it's like, it oh, hey, y'all, they actually Disney shop shop. Disney actually has a um, Indiana Jones section. These are the things that are on sale. I'm not trying to stir the conversation away, but you have an Indiana Jones button down shirt for adults. Okay. Indiana Jones leather jacket for adults. Yeah. Indiana Jones voodoo doll from Temple of Doom. Everyone's favorite. I know. Yes. Mm. Um, a Indiana Jones and the Lost in the Raiders of the Lost Ark 40th anniversary shirt. And this one may interest Kirby. For 250 bucks, you can get a replica of the Crystal Skull. Hold on. I have a feeling I'm gonna go back and see. The only question oh. is, does it light up? 
Uh, let me let me let me look. Because I uh, think in the movie, see. I think in Kingdom of the uh, High, Crystal, high it does detailed light up resin, high, highly detailed resin crystal skull replica eye socket eye sockets light up. Oh. Oh. It, all right. It requires and, three AAA oh. batteries. <laughs> A two hundred and fifty dollar, a two hundred and fifty dollar replica requires three. Whatever. Have Freaking you seen? Fun. Have you seen the Hasbro lightsabers, Ruby? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> hey, those those like really detailed ones though are those really detailed ones though are dope. I mean, yeah, there's some of them that look really really good though. You know, uh, I just I cannot get over the fat hilt on luke skywalker's lightsaber i can't get over it there there are what actually happened? ones where they actually have the thin hilts okay thank God. there are there are actual ones where they have the they're thin out hilt. there in the i wild. have been sending you those have you i have yeah you can send me it again because I, I, I don't know where I'm, that's where i mean i'll have to find it again i'm just upset <laughs> that um man i wanted a uh, sakara stone that's that's upsetting you're the only one. You actually wanted a Sakara Stone? Uh, apparently I'm not, because they're sold out. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the reviews. Oh, <laughs> do you want to share yeah. the screen so we can watch it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I have to yeah. steer away from Mick the... Mick Funkerson, uh... seven months ago. Three out of five stars. Regretting the purchase. Not worth the cost. Skip this one unless discounted. Oh, well, oh you think? Uh, that he's the only one star review though. Everyone else is praising this. Oh, what what the fuck? They're so happy. About I've been waiting for a while so for a license Sakara prop, and this one rock. does point. Here it is displayed next to sideshow collectible properties. Okay, so this person actually bought sideshow collectible versions of um the the arc, um and okay. the and the statue that Indy gets at the beginning of the Raiders. Oh, oh, that would actually be worth quite a bit. I bet that actually I think would be worth it. the idol. Yeah, throw me the idol. Um, but I'm sorry, like Lily, you can go into the woods, pick up a rock, carve it, and then D-Al. make stone. D-Al, stop it! it <laughs> no, I'm like not. It's amber. stupid. No, it looks like an amber resin, like stone. It, it, it doesn't just look like an ordinary rock. Hold on, I'm about to pull up a picture so I could actually like. <laughs> no, 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 I got you. I, I got you. Hold on, I got you. Oh, I share the share the thing so I could. Do it if I can share it. Like, let me share. <laughs> share the screen so we can see this bullshit. <laughs> see this bullshit. <laughs> see, it lights up, dude. That really looks nice like the, the that looks like the amber rock from Jurassic Park. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, <laughs> dude. I can literally buy this from Bed Bath and Beyond. It, I think it's a lot. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Facts, Facts <laughs> though. <laughs> Okay, Pull the back up. literal facts. This is the crystal skull. <laughs> that's cool. Now that's yeah, that, lo- that cool. looks as ridiculous as it did in the movie, but I still like it. <laughs> but that's why people wanted it so much. It looks yeah. ridiculous. It looks yeah, it looks like I love it looks unique. The Indiana oh, Jones logo. Man, you had to ruin it to put that. You had to ruin to putting the print on there. Like <laughs> what the fuck? Well, no, I, I think that's like a thing that you could actually like r- like rip off or something. I yeah. hope it is because, like, if you actually like put that, you actually stamp. Once you turn the light on that, and see it slowly glow, you'll you'll rest assured that money was worth well worth it. Uh, that's like them not, putting that. Do not pass Jones. on this one. Yeah, Substitute. there you go. Yeah. So let's see, fantastic replica. Uh, it's not well, crystal at all. It's on? plastic. It does look awesome, but it's plastic. It's plastic. <laughs> oh, what? Was he expecting it to be like an actual crystal skull? <laughs> Oh, uh, to be that's, honest, uh, to be fair though, uh, that shit's gonna cost three thousand dollars if it was made out of pure crystal. To be fair though, I have uh, purchased some uh, replicas of like m- that had metal on them that costed less than two fifty. Mm. So that's, I, I guess that's fair. I guess, but um, <sighs> that's but yeah, funny that, though. Yeah, those those that fucking so. So Amber again, like, from Jurassic Park is like people are yeah. asking, No, no, I'm not. I am not <laughs> respect holding the, back. Respect the culture. No, Lily, you, Lily. I think, no. I, I, think I, I think I saw that. Uh, I think I saw that. Uh, those knickknacks from IKEA. Like Lily, like Good come on, God. <laughs> She's freaking serious right now, but uh, we we no, are you are a to the menace. people of that culture. It, it's just it's. <laughs> You are a it's, fucking menace. Just, just and stop it. it. 
I'm glad to be a How are we that. not talking about this? Like, come on now. Um, I will buy that plastic crystal skull with the with the Indiana Jones print before I buy that fucking stone. But um, it's like them putting that uh, the Indiana Jones. I saw like the the hat. They put the Indiana Jones logo on the side. Like, why why you put that so tacky? Don't put it on the side. We know it's the Indiana Jones hat. But um, anyway, 